Okay, welcome back. We're going to be talking about some polar amino acids today, and we're going to be starting the discussion with serine. So serine's one-letter amino acid code is, is S, or its uh, three-letter is just sir, and we'll draw the structure out here. That rhymed. Um, so the hydroxy group is the kind of main focus of serine, um, and serine is found in a lot of active sites of enzymes. And the way it functions in them is usually as part of something called a catalytic triad. So the catalytic triad is basically three amino acids, one of which behaves as a nucleophile, um, the other behaves as an acid, and then the last one behaves as a base. Now in the catalytic triad, serine is usually um, the nucleophile. The acid can be glutamate or aspartate, and the base is usually histidine. Uh, so that's just kind of a way of summing up how certain enzymes function in their active sites. Um, and these uh, examples of enzymes that function this way with a catalytic triad are uh, hydrolases, and there's quite a lot of hydrolases, it's quite a big category. And serine hydrolases are you know, some of the most common enzymes out there. So serine is a non-essential amino acid. You don't have to eat this. Um, and it's coded by a shit ton of codons. So there's actually six codons um, that serine is coded for. Um, You've got the UC codons, which code for it. So UCU, UCC, UCA, and UCG. And you've also got two AG codons, which are AGU and AGC. So these all code for serine. Okay, let's move on to uh, threonine. Okay, so threonine is actually quite a bit like serine. It's one letter amino acid code is T, or it's three letters, is just thre. Uh, we'll draw the structure out on the right again. Okay. Oh, okay, we'll put the methyl group here, actually. There we go. Okay, so its side chain here is called a hydroxy ethyl group. So we'll write that here. Hydroxy ethyl group. This is, this is one word, the hydroxy ethyl. Um, yep, and if you notice about the structure here, there's actually two chiral centers. Um, so obviously all amino acids have a chiral center here on the, the alpha carbon, um, but on the side chain here, this carbon here is also chiral. So I think, I believe isoleucine that we discussed actually has one as well, um, but this is kind of a rare occurrence. This isn't very common in amino acids. Um, so there is, it is possible for there to be four different stereoisomers of um, threonine, which is pretty cool. So I'll just put two chiral centers here. Okay, so th um, threonine is an essential amino acid in, I think, most mammals. I think in humans, it's an essential amino acid. Um, but um, it is possible for it to be synthesized from aspartate, and this happens in uh, E. coli. Um, something as well is that threonine undergoes phosphorylation a lot. Um, undergoes phosphorylation. Um, and the codons for it are um, the AC codons, so these are ACU, ACC, and ACA, the air conditioning codons, if you want to remember it that way. And finally, just a fun fact about it, um, if you want to find a food that has a lot of it in, um, cottage cheese contains high concentrations of threonine, which is pretty nice. nice. 